you are in the city of Medina and the year is 11 after Hijra. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has just passed away and the event of Saqifa has just occurred. The Shia of Amir al muminin Alayhi Salam are being forced to pledge allegiance to the new ruler. Now, I want to ask you, would, would you, I want to know what would you do in this circumstance? Would you give bay'a under taqiyya and help the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam in secret? Or would you speak out, potentially risking your life and the lives of your loved ones as well? I would risk my life. I would love to be at the time of the Prophet and I would love the opportunity to risk my life. What is better than risking your life for the Ahlul Bayt and becoming a martyr and give, being given the title of being a martyr of the Ahlul Bayt mm -hmm. mm. Yes, there's nothing like being a Shaheed, definitely. Um, now, I want you to picture that you are standing outside the house of Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam. This is the house where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ali would go every day and he would greet his family with such affection. He used to kiss Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam. He used to hug and hold Al Hassan wal Hussein alayhi salam. I want you to picture that you are standing outside that house and you see the enemy come to the house. You see the threat is made and Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam, she refuses to let them in. You see them break the door and you hear Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam screaming behind the door. You see them set the house on fire Tell me, how would you feel seeing such a thing? What would you do? I wouldn't want to see this um, scene. Um, I would get up and do something to try to help Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. I can't sit there and just watch. I can't do that if my love for the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam is to fight with them and stand next, side by side with Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. I would never let anyone hurt Fatima to Zahra. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it makes you wonder what kind of person could hurt such a lady like that. You know, take away the fact that she is Sayyidah Tanissa al Alani. This is an 18 year old vulnerable girl. To attack her in such a way, what kind of heart must an individual have? Now, I want you to picture that the attack has taken place and now you go into the house of Lady Fatima alayhi salam and you see that she is lying on the ground. She is unconscious. Al Hassan wal Hussein, Zainab and Kulfum, they're around her, trying to wake her up, they're crying. What would you do to try and comfort them in such a situation? I would tell them that they, she went to a better place. She went to a place where she's going to see her father. So I said, um, and that everything is better when you go return to your Lord. I would comfort them and tell them that Fatima Zahra did it for them and she risked everything. And she was trying to teach them a lesson to become stronger as individuals. Yeah. Fatima Sahra alayhi salam, she set an example that no matter what happens to us, Islam comes first. And to sacrifice yourself for Islam is the most honourable thing. And surely we can see in the events after Fatimiya, particularly with the day of Ashura, that her children, you know, Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam, learnt from her sacrifice 
when he sacrificed everything in Karbala. Finally, sister, I want you to imagine that you are now walking in Medina beside Imam Zaman. May Allah hasten his reappearance. I want you to picture that you are speaking with him and you turn to him and you say, Yabna Rasulullah, where are we going? And he tells you, we are going to go and visit the grave of my grandmother Fatima Zahra alayhi salam. No one knows where Our Lady is buried. This is your first time laying your eyes on that blessed grave. You're standing in front of her. What would you say to her if you could say anything? I went to Medina recently and I couldn't. I, and no one knows where Father Zahra al -Islam was buried. And that is the most heartbreaking thing you can have while you're alive. If I saw her grave, I would ask her for guidance and ask her to give us the make sure she keeps us on the right path and to make sure that we are part of the army of the Imam Sharif. and I would ask her to always look after us and protect us because we're never safe especially living in this day and age um, I usually ask her to protect us in general and seeing her grave would make me more emotional and I think I would break down if I did actually see her grief. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's beautiful that you were able to go and visit Medina and to be so close to her and of course Rasulullah and our Imams alayhim wassalam. I thank you so much for your wonderful and emotional insight and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will grant you the ziyarat of Medina many many times in your life inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us strong and steadfast on the path of the Ahl al-Bayt alayhim as -salam. and may he, may he hasten the reappearance of our Lord and Master Sahib al zaman so that goodness and justice may be brought to this world after corruption and injustice has taken over it. <laughs> Oh